Planning to buy a video editing PC this 2020? Stick lang kayo. Roll muna natin ng intro. What is up guys, this is Ryan Mijares. Hope you're all doing safe and sound at your home watching this video. For today, we are going to check out my personal rig for editing videos for the price range of 35,000 pesos to 40,000 pesos. Pwede ka mag-edit ng at least 1080p or even 4K footage na video using Adobe Premiere Pro, Filmora Pro, kahit DaVinci Resolve. Kaya ng PC na to. You can comment down below kung ano yung mga build na ginagamit nyo for now or yung mga balak ninyong gamitin for editing ng videos para makapag-share tayo ng mga ideas or information sa ating mga viewers. All of the components na nakalagay sa PC na to ay nabali natin sa DynaQuest PC. Hindi po ito sponsored ng DynaQuest. And now, let's go straight to the parts ng rig natin. Let's start with the CPU. We have the Ryzen 5 3500X, 6 core, 6 threads with a base clock of 3.6 GHz and a boost clock of 4.1 GHz. This is only for 8,137 pesos. Next is the motherboard. We have the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max for 6,763 pesos. Dapat yung bibilin ko ay yung MSI V450 Gaming Plus, pero naubusan sila ng stock. Susunod ay ang 16GB DDR4 3200G Skill Rip Joss 5 na RAM for 4,620 pesos. Mas mataas na speed na RAM, mas maganda lang na at mas efficient ang latest generation ng Ryzen CPUs sa higher speed na RAMs. And for our main storage, we have the Samsung 970 EVO Plus NVMe M.2, 250GB for 4,725 pesos. You don't really need to really have this kind of storage. Pwede naman yung SSD na SanDisk. I just opted to buy this one para mas mabilis mag-launch yung OS. Pati na rin yung editing programs natin. Uh, but an S SSD will definitely do the job. For our second storage, uh, we have the Western Digital Blue 1TB for 2,089 pesos. 3 GB sana yung gusto ko, kaya lang, again, wala silang stock. Para naman sa ating graphics card, we have the MSI GTX 1650 Super 4GB for 9,366 pesos. You can go up to 1660 Super, pero sapat na rin naman ang 1650. But you will need to add 4,000 pesos more kapag pupunta ka ng 1660. So I opted to go with the 1650 Super na lang. And for our power supply, we have the Silverstone Strider Gold S Series 850 Watt Power Supply. Hindi ko binili itong power supply na to kasi nakita ko lang naman to sa bahay na may extra na power supply. So na hindi pa naman siya gamit. So sayang naman. But if you are going to buy a brand new power supply, you can purchase the FSP Hammer 600 Watt 80 Plus Full Modular Power Supply for 2,690 pesos. And lastly, for our case, we have the Transonic Mars Tempered Glass for 2,625 pesos. If you're going to go with the exact build that we have right now, uh, gagastos ka na at least 41,000 pesos. Um, I use a credit card, it's a little point right here. Kapag umamit ka ng credit card, mas mahal siya ng 2,000 pesos. So kapag in straight cash mo siya from 41,000 pesos, ang babayaran mo lang ay 39,000 pesos. 
Now you can compromise uh, the other parts, for example, sa storage, sa main storage natin. Imbes na mag M.2 ka, pwede ka rin naman mag SSD ka na lang. Uh, for the same storage size, it will lessen the price by 2,500 pesos. So let's say nag cash payment ka, tapos nag SSD storage ka, ang possible cost mo ay 36,500 pesos na lang. This rig can handle all video editing programs like Adobe Premiere Pro, Filmora Pro, pati yung DaVinci Resolve 16 na GPU intensive na video editing program. I rendered ako ng at least 8 minute video, uh, 1080p sa DaVinci Resolve and it only took 11 minutes to finish the video. Kaya ang kaya niya ang 1080p footage, kay 4K footage pwede rin sa video editing PC na to. I don't do games that much sa PC, pero kung maglalaro man ako more on yung mga esports title, uh, which is more than enough for this kind of rig. Based naman sa other reviews, kaya naman niya ang mga triple uh, A titles as long as naka medium yung settings. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments uh, about the rig, you can comment down below. Um, do not forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel if you want to get more content like this in the future. And thank you again for watching. Again, this is Ryan. See you in my next video.